Hello to y'all, and welcome back to Mountain Blade 1866. I feel like this is starting to become a re recurring theme, where I come back after already knowing what I'm going to do. For most people, that would be fine, but with me, there's the issue of I forget what I talked about last time in the video that doesn't exist, and in this one. And you can probably tell the difference on things that are my first try and not, because normally I'm kind of more off on my speaky stuff. My speaky stuff? <laughs> well, that's a great way to start it. But anyway, when we last left off, we had, this... we had Bishop's Lodge, and we had taken out a few people, as we can tell by the prisoners in there, but what we need now is to take over areas, and the Shady Shady Valley Hotel is nearly impossible because it has a killing field that everybody's on a hill. I've probably said this I don't know how many times, but everybody's on a hill aiming their guns at you, and there's no easy way to get around them like there is in, say, the cities. However... There is the other area of the Hoffman Gang, and that is in the city. So in theory, it should do pretty well. So what I want to do is manage the garrison and take the most powerful people that I can, because that is where I am going. And also all my Pinkerton agents. They ain't a proper army without the Pinkerton agents in there. Yeah, let's take the regulars too. Why not? And the militia. I take that back. State militia. Do I want to give any of these guys back? Are they like not too good? Well, I can get rid of the canyon bandit. That... He isn't too good. And I will take a state militia in his stead. There. Now, what is my inventory like? I, I also decided... I'm not really... I'm not really using my pistol at all anymore. So I'm just going to sell it to save for loop space. And I also realized save for one... Iffy item... I actually have the best gun. I always keep talking about the Henry Repeater. Henry Repeater is actually a little bit less effective than this gun because although it has twice the amount of ammo, it does, doesn't do nearly as much damage or isn't nearly as accurate. So I'm selling my old pistol. How's my money? Weekly cost of seventy-one dollars. Sheesh. But I can go over here, which I believe it's El Paso. Yes, the El Paso. And I also realize that all of the other available locations are owned by big people. By big people, I mean people with hundreds of people in their army people. And there's no way I'm going to be able to fight someone in a base that has like 50 people in it when they themselves have a hundred plus people they're, ba they're basically all of them are Remington Robert kind of difficulty or they have multiple people who have you know like 50 people each in their group so you can't take one of their other locations like how I did with Cottonwood Gang because again it's kind of the situation like the Cottonwood Gang. Like if I go over here here to the Salvation Hotel, McCord's Gang, Gordon himself is in there with 120 people. Now I might be able to take the Salvation Hotel if I could just fight the regular people, but combining his entire force in there, I'd need to find a way to specifically lure them out first. However, El Paso Hotel, owned by the Hoffman Gang, that guy that I freed from one of the Cottonwood people. I'm going to go into El Paso first, see what it has. There's the Winchester rifle, but again, that's like... About as accurate, double 
double the ammo, but not nearly as damaging, and that was... It's pretty much the same with that Henry Repeater rifle. I thought the Henry Repeater was better, but then again, I'd never seen the ball carbon before then. I don't even think I've ever seen it in a shop. But the El Paso Hotel. It has an area similar to B Bishop's Lodge. It doesn't have the train in it, which is the icon, icon of B Bishop's Lodge. But this place is very... It's alright to siege. However, before I do that, I'm going to save. In the spot that you can tell where... Eh, where I tried to play, but then... It messed up. Prepare for the attack. Seven hours. No, oh, please don't make it go at night. Late night. Wait. There we go. On to wait until daytime. Now. Going to allow my people to shoot as they please. Ow. Ow. However, I'm not going to allow, allow them to shoot as they please. I can see the people in there. However, I have to be very careful with my people. Same time. So I can't allow them to go too far. Because past this area, the enemy have a killing field line. It'll be sh it'll be Shady Valley Hotel all over again. Which means I need to kill these people first. How? Am I the only one over here who's actually shooting at them? All right. Now, I'm having everyone follow me, because if they go forward from there, again, killing field. They just have a line of men that will completely decimate our force, which is the, again, the issue of Shady Valley and why I'm going to need like a hundred people to attack that place. Or be very lucky. As you can see, there's someone over there. Not kind of just standing there, really. Can I shoot again? What? Okay, I wanted to make sure I was full on ammo, but everybody seems to be more or less going where I want them to, which is over there to shoot the back line of their killing field. Because this way, we're attacking them from an angle. And the angle prevents our guns from doing a whole lot, because all of our people are here. There's like ten more people over there. I really don't want to get shot. I'm trying to get rid of these guys on top. Ah, you can see there's a lot of guys over there. There are a lot of corpses, anyway. My people have been shooting them out. Oh, nope, there they are. That's the people I was worried about. Just a whole line, like I said. Where we effectively took the line from the side. Flanking maneuvers. And that's it. Well, 9 wounded, 5 killed, 44 wounded. You're my prisoner now. I know I freed you before, but you're my prisoner now. Yes, there is only one other gun that I found after this. Oh, after fighting there. That was really any good at all. However, I didn't get it this time, so that makes me sad. What is this? Oh, wait, wait, rifle ammunition. I'm keeping that and equipping it. To give myself some more rifle ammunition. There was one called the Smith & Wesson, Smith & Wesson Volcanic Rifle. It's had 25 shots in it. It's great. It'd be a great mid-range infantry weapon because it had a higher penalty on the horseback, on horseback than the ball carbon. But I was like, well, I'll 
try that. Holy crap, you got a lot of ammo. How's that? Oh, it's a shovel. Yeah, and it did, it did like this much damage and only had like 80 something accuracy, but again, it had 25 shots in it. Having 25 shots with that much of that caliber, I'd say that's worth it. And now, I get to go in here and also upgrade some of my people. Another confederate. Confederate sergeant seems to be the max. What I'm going to do is pretty much give you a bunch of stuff. I'd like to recruit really only two. Because I decided that I'm going to have about... Is anybody here on a horse? No. That I'm going to have about 40 gamblers in each. Because it seems around 40 seems to be the number that the game plays by. So I find that perfect. And I'm going to start putting points into Charisma. Because I need that. And also more two-handed. But the more points I put into Charisma, the more people I'll be able to field. Which is what is going to be needed, because now that I've sieged there, the only available location that doesn't have a hundred plus people in it is Shady Valley. There's an area over there, I believe it's owned by the Collins Banda, who has one guy with over a hundred people. We have the Cottonwood Gang, which has Remington Robert. We have the Lawmen over there, who have a couple people, including a hundred plus. And you saw Gordon in the Salvation Hotel, and he has someone else garrisoned in his other location. So, I need a larger army to do anything. No. Fourteen dollars, that's it? Mate? I wouldn't sell you someone... I would think about it if you wanted to sell me them for wow. I would think about it if you wanted to sell, sell them to me for say fifty dollars? But fourteen? Really? Guy with fifty people ain't worth fourteen dollars. Worth a hell of a lot more than that. But 40 gamblers. Now what I'm going to do is take everybody else out for now. So I want to see my speed when I have everybody that isn't going to be garrisoning. So now right back to El Paso. I mean, there is the Indians, but Indians also have multi-amounted multi people in them. Like, if I go to the factions, click on, say, the Comanches. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people. By the way, one, name, one guy named Dogfat. Ten people, plus its leader. Granted, some people will probably only have like 34 people, like General Custer. <laughs> but but on the other side, there will probably be a couple people who have 100 plus. And if they s decide to attack me, I'm not sure how well that, well that would go. And again, they are Indians who don't... Well, the Indians do use guns, they ha but they have a specific tree that uses guns instead of every single character has guns. So that's something I actually need to think about. That may be the next place. Woo! I'm in the green! I'm in the green by two dollars, but I'm in the green. It's close enough. Welcome back to El Paso. Manage the garrison. And one of the gamblers got enough experience to become a thief. Well, 
Looks like I only have 11 to give you. Take my Pinkertons, take my Assassins, State Militia. I don't have enough room. Well, I'll leave you some more people because you're not actually full. 5.9 though. 5.9 would be good if I'm going to siege a place. Oh, by the way. I can go to the El Paso Bank. When I went when, when this, I, I can take a hostile action? Uh, I can rob the bank. Actually, forget it. Because I want to save before robbing the bank. Safe is open. Take as much as you can and get out of town. Whoa. That's a lot more than last time. Yoda, stop! Also, did you notice? That's myself. Did you also notice that I got reduced... I got reduced relations with my own faction. Also, there's myself, who is supposed to be supporting myself. Is that my own people? I can't really tell. Also, I believe that's another one of myself. It's my local militia shooting myself, who just robbed the bank. And there's some more of myself. Okay, this is even worse than last time. <laughs> I received 11 damage, although I don't think it was myself. A couple people named Game, who are completely naked. Received 16 damage, who... Again. You can see how robbing your own bank kind of screws the game a little bit. And that was Norm. I was knocked unconscious by my own local militia. <laughs> I make my way safely back through the gates and quickly retreat. However, I'm being chased by my own deputies. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to this, because it was so screwy. I'm fight. It's me fighting me to protect my gold from my bank from myself that I just stole. And then I'm getting chased by my own deputies from my bank to take back my money from my bank. <laughs> I... I'd try to make an Inception joke, but I don't even think I'd be able to. Oh my god. Well, let's attack my own people. Granted, they're not actually my own people. They were a force that spawned from the hotel. But still. They're effectively... My people. Wow, I got that guy pretty easily. I say as the rest... The rest of my shots proceed to not kill a single soul. No, not my stagecoach, robber. Hey, my own military. Quit killing my own military. That guy got, got it in the face. Guy, but hey! Yeah, you ain't shanking a stagecoach, robber. Sorry. I'm kind of half curious to see what would happen if I got a negative relation with my own faction because I robbed my own bank too much. What would even happen? <laughs> Ooh, I got their scraps, but I also got gold and silver. Which I can then go right back to El Paso. And sell for an incredibly low price I'd like to add I get a little less than three dollars for a bar of silver and a little over four and a half for a solid gold bar like I don't even know 
But that was a fair, a fair amount of money for robbing myself. I only lost one person. And Carl also got a level. So let's talk to Carl. And give him some more intellect because he needs to be smarter. And actually having said that, let's give him agility so he can get more weapon master. Because that... Get enough weapon master, you'll be able to actually put more points into long guns. But for now, just one-handed weapons. So, that was me robbing myself. And, and then selling away my own money to get more money. I only lost one person. Let's go to El Paso. Can I... Oh, right, my, my people were full. I was like, only one? Really? Don't suppose I can recruit anymore. No. Oh, I might as well take the gunslinger out. Now, just to show off this area. The hotel, send captives to visit. Who sieged the Cottonwood Hotel? Excuse me? Who tried to attack the Cottonwood Hotel? Who? Whoa, who are they at war with? At war with the Price Gang? The Collins Banda. That was probably who. So the Collins Banda are way over there, owning one location. But still, has one guy in it who has a whole bunch of people. Let's go to this again. <laughs> and just make sure, yeah, Collins. Also has Brown, because the lawman that Brown used to be a part of doesn't exist anymore but yeah hotel fairly easy to kill however with Turner's party in there a little bit less easy with Gordon right over there nearly impossible however I'm being followed by these guys and I will save right before we encounter In the name of Emperor Maximilian an Emperor Max Man. Boys, don't pay kindly the threats, amigo. So apparently, Mexican imperialists don't care about numbers. They just want to fight you. I mean, I'll roll with it. I'm just... Not really sure if... That was, re that was a very good idea. Especially since that guy just instantly got killed. There's really not a whole lot of people to kill. Ow. I'd say as a dude on the horse shanks me and then I hit his horse instead of him. No. Bad. Also bad. Very bad. God, I am so bad at hitting people who are trying to hit me. Take that. That was entirely too much health lost. But hey, I got more loot. It's always good. Can go to this place and sell it. Oh, the Spencer repeating rifle. Spencer repeating rifle is probably the only possible replacement. I think that speed rating is even slower. A higher penalty from horseback. And I say replacement because it has an entire additional point of accuracy and damage in it. And as much as this is double eight gauge is nice, it cannot be reloaded on horseback. Otherwise I'd keep it because that would be awesome to have. Does sell for pretty well though, ten dollars. Yeah, the this hotel really really be my only option because the areas over here with the lawmen are much too close together for me to bother. Gordon over there is about as far Actually, did I even take anywhere from the Cottonwood Hotel? 
Because I feel like they... People are probably more aggressive when you take some... some a location from them. And they can go get it. But I don't think the, Cotton, the Cottonwood gang I never took an area from. But yeah, Davidson hiding out in there. Again, 38 people. Very easy to kill. Davidson himself with 135. Not so much. I could piss him off with the by raiding the El Rio Bank and try and lure him out. Same thing with Alan, who is over here. Yeah, you saw how I killed the first guy, eh? Yeah, Alan over here. Again, Hotel Del Rio. 43 people in a town. In theory, an easy capture. In practice, there is an additional person in there. And it's pretty much for the same for the area the Collins Banda owns way over there. Yes, Hotel Buena Fortuna. And really, it's the same for the Co for the Cottonwood Hotel as well, which appears to be under siege again. I'm going to go check that out. Because if that place is under siege, I may be able to take advantage of it and kill someone who would be a pain in my backside otherwise. Whether it be killing Collins, who's pro possibly sieging it, because he has to be, because he's the only person who has still has men that could possibly siege a location that is at war with the Cottonwood Gang. Now, just out of curiosity, yeah, if that stay, if that's about the number of a Indian fort, I'm not going to be able to capture that place either. Ooh, it's Duval. Oh yeah, Duval, Duval escaped, didn't he? But there's also the Co there's also Collins from the Collins band himself. As you can see, 143 people. Now, I am at an impact. Impasse? I don't know. Oh, yeah, the... Wait a second. I should have everybody from the Duval party in Bishop's Lodge. Alright, so I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to save. And I am first... Because it's James, Jesse, Pete, Frank, and William. I'm going to see if any of those names are in Bishop's Lodge, because if so, the game probably glitched. I'm doing that just for fun, and what I'm going to do after is see if I can kill Collins, because he's out in the field, which makes him easier to fight than actually fighting him in a base is. And plus, I'll have the support of the stagecoach that he's fighting. Eh, there's Remington Robert. Has a hundred and thirty. I could kill Remington Robert too. That's even better. The game just really opened up for me. Oh, he's sieging Shady Valley. No, there's a. Uh, when did the Duval party escape, or did I never capture them? 